Beaton says it's committed to process, it's committed to process, although that hasn't proven true in this case yet, right? Um, I am flummoxed and flabbergasted by the events of the last two weeks. The week really determines my fate at the college level. Um, back to your original question. I received a memo from Provost Stan Jones on January 4th, 2016, indicating that Wheaton College was initiating a process of termination. The charges against me are voluminous, about 38 to 40 pages worth, but the most shocking and egregious ones are related to claims about my beliefs. That is, Wheaton College's own interpretation of what my theological beliefs must be based on my Facebook post. Mm. Advent, amidst the morass of fear and hatred of Muslims in America. I will include some of the charges here. This is verbatim. First, Dr. Hawkins has failed to provide reasonable assurances that her personal theological beliefs are in line with the statement of faith and the college's theological positions. Of Christians in Billings, Montana, put a menorah in their window in the way Wheaton College will never induce me to kowtow to their double speak concerning the statement of faith so as to appease an imaginary constituency that clearly knows little about what academic freedom or Christian love mean or to placate platinum donors to their coffers. The hijab um, it was very much never intended, if you saw the Facebook post, to be a social experiment. It actually wasn't a political statement to he who shall not be named and others like him. Um, and it was really intended to be a way of walking a mile in my Muslim sister's shoes. Because I think while Wheaton College can signify that employees sign a statement of faith, that's within their right, and adhere to it, and I do, they did not give me Jesus, and they can't take him away from me. Amen. Wheaton College cannot hold me to a different standard, in fact, a higher standard, than they hold every other employee to at the university. Wheaton College cannot scare me into walking away from the truth that all humans, Muslims, the vulnerable, the oppressed of any ilk, are all my sisters and brothers, and I am called by Jesus to walk with them in their oppression. Hallelujah. Amen. Advent, amidst the morass of fear and hatred of Muslims in America. I have no hatred in my heart for Wheaton College Amen. or any administrator or human there. Amen. Praise God. We're going to do a...